beautiful people welcome to a new segment today i just want to let nigerians to know that their lives does not matter anymore as long as president buhari is consigned nigerian life does not matter to him all matters is his power all matters is power do you know that is in only in nigeria that cow life matters more than human beings do you know that it's only in nigeria that cows has a budget do you know that it's only in nigeria that cow has a database yes many of you don't know so if you are still believing in one nigeria i think you must be sick in your head because there is nothing that is one there. Yeah. If you watch all the series of interview that your president has been going, even the recent one, I think I'm going to show you that interview. You listen to what he said, that will tell you that he doesn't have the interest of you. Yes. The amount of insecurity in Nigeria. Now, if you are overseas, planning to go home, be careful. Be very, very careful because Nigeria is not a safe place to go as it is now. You must, you must prepare yourself very well. Don't just say, I'm going home. There is no home in Nigeria as it is now. A lot of things are happening. You know, I want you to I want you to listen to Dino what he have to say about how cows is more important than the people in the country. I want you to listen to Dino. Then you can understand more better of what I'm trying to say. Thank you. And please subscribe, share this video, let other people know what is happening because a lot of you are still believing that there's one nigeria there's nothing called one nigeria you must understand that so take a look at what dino have to say um cattle rearing is a personal business i repeat cattle rearing is a personal business so the statement by the minister of justice have the capacity to create havoc and problems that will put this country on fire so I want to say categorically that the freedom of movement as enshrined in the 1999 constitution as amended deals only with human beings and not other animals, not lower animals. And cattles are not in the category of persons or human beings that should enjoy freedom of movement. As a graduate of law, I want to be educated by the Minister of Justice where in the constitution or in any of our Eastern laws, it is stated or stipulated that Cattles have freedom of movement. Instead, there are laws that are against wandering of animals, wandering of cattle, wandering, moving around. I think there are, there, 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 there's a particular law that prohibits or forbids the wandering of cattle. So I think the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria must call his Minister of Justice, other ministers, his spokesperson, and government officials to order through their very volatile parochial and postrate statements have the capacity to put this country on fire. He must caution them to be responsible in their statements, in their, in, 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 in their politics, and even in pronouncements on behalf of the federal government. And again, I want to say, without mising words, that open grazing is not only analog, it is not anachronistic, it is not diluvian, it is not only primitive, it is not only antiquated, it is completely uh, a thing of the past. This is something that should be practiced in the times of Homo sapiens and Homo erectus. We are not apes. We are not in the early days. We must be civilized and we must move according to the technological and scientific demands of recent times. I've got cows in my, in, in, in my, in my farm and the, farms are, the, the cows have been fed and they are not wandering about. So let us not be political about this. Let's not be sentimental about this. Let's not be very um, 
uh, myopic about this. We should call the spade the spade and not just an agricultural instrument. We have no other country to call our own body's country. We should not put this country on fire. We must not, for our selfish and egocentric interests, begin to speak as if we are compound fools. This country belongs to all of us. I love Nigeria. I want us to succeed. And this country will not go down. This country, the unity of this country is what I pray on daily for, on, 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 on daily basis for. We will, by the grace of God, come out of the woods. Insecurity shall become a thing of the past. God shall work through Nigeria. And we will come out stronger, bigger, and more successful by yeah. the grace of the Almighty. Still on the Southeast, Mr. President. <laughs> How do you plan to include more people from the Southeast, and indeed the South in general, to include more people government. in the Southeast, and indeed the South in general, in your government, especially in security services and MDAs? You look at, um, say, NNPC, look at the military. People who have been there for 18 years, or people who have been there say, you know, for 10 years. They trained in Zaria or in Abekuta. You know, they come through the ranks. And because uh, they served under all the circumstances, the crisis and everything, and they gradually... Thank you for watching that video. If you listen to what your president says he can understand that he doesn't have the interest of the people. He doesn't care. When you ask him A, he will answer B. He doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna say anything that will be profitable to you. He doesn't wanna say that. He knows obvious. He doesn't want you people. He doesn't he doesn't care about your people. When you ask him how are you going to be, be how are you going to better the lives of people in Nigeria? He will tell you history. He will tell you stories. So you, do you think this is the way forward? Do you think this is the way Nigeria will be better? Do you think this man who answer questions like this have his people in his mind? No. Okay? It's automatically no. So if you are in Nigeria, please look after yourself. Take care of yourself. Don't assume. Don't say we have leader. There is no leadership in Nigeria. There is no president. There is no governor. Just do your things on your own and pray to God for security. There is no security in Nigeria. So you must know that there is no security in Nigeria. These people don't have any plan for you. Thank you for watching Osisoma TV. Remember, bless.